I never thought sleeping with the fishes was gonna end up on my bucket list. Where is this? How do I book it? And can we go? It's off Pemba Island in Tanzania, Helen. Invented by Mikkel Jenberg, it's located right in the middle of a coral reef. For fish lovers, this is a fantasy. It looks so beautiful down there. But how does Mikkel's room survive in the ocean? The position of the underwater room is everything. They've moored the room in the middle of a coral reef. A coral reef has an irregular structure, so when the waves collide with it, it makes the water go into a turbulent flow. That turbulence dissipates the energy of the ocean waves. The end result of this is that the energy from the waves is dissipated by 97%, and the overall height of the waves is diminished by 84%. All this results in keeping that structure safe. And so the room itself just needs to deal with ocean pressure. The underwater room is built like an inside-out fish tank. Instead of keeping water in, it keeps water out. That much water exerts a tremendous amount of pressure, and for that reason, this thing has to be really well engineered. The windows are made of two and a half inch or six centimeter thick toughened glass. And the entire superstructure is made of steel, which makes it strong enough to deal with the power of the ocean. The other benefit of being in a coral reef, that's where the fish hang out. Looking out that window must be spectacular. Fish from all over the ocean go there to find food and hang out and throw parties. I don't know what fish do in coral reefs, but that's where they go.